Hey everyone, Scott here to discuss Jaws, starring Roy Scheider, Robert Shaw, Richard Dreyfuss, Lorraine Gary, Murray Hamilton, and Carl Gottlieb, and directed by Steven Spielberg. Now before I get into this movie, I want to get into a couple of things. One, this is the first movie that everybody was thinking, like, I don't want to go to the beach again, and I kind of agree why, and... That was a scary situation with the shark in the seas. And number two, I am reviewing Jaws and the whole entire franchise, plus a couple of the Deep Blue Seas for the anticipation for that sequel, for the one that's coming on on video pretty soon. And I'm going to add one extra review of The Shallows, starring Blake Lively. So, let's just get right into this movie, shall we? Because... Let's see how much of a classic this movie really is, because it is a classic. I love, love, love the opening theme and score to this movie. It's very haunting, like... And it makes me scared to go in the ocean again, and I haven't been uncomfortable with the beach in years. We meet with a guy and a girl named Chrissy who are going swimming in the beach water. And a shark grabs Chrissy when its mouth and drags her all over the place. And that was very incredibly haunting. That was a very incredibly haunting scene. Like, it, it is really terrifying for this movie. It is also very brilliant. After Chrissy gets killed, we get introduced to Cheap Martin Brody... Played by Roy Scheider, who will eventually show up as Frank Castle's father in the 2004 Punisher movie. I really like him in this movie a lot better than the 2004 Punisher film. He's a loving father and a husband to his wife Ellen, played by Lorraine Gary. And he discovers Chrissy's dead body in the sand. And I really do like both Chief Brody and Ellen because they're very good in this movie. Chief Brody gets a meeting with Mayor... Larry Vaughn, played by Murray Hamilton, who's worried about his town. Meanwhile, Chief Brody is worried about a shark attack happening again. And it happens to a little boy in the next scene in the water at the beach. And it makes Mayor Vaughn very worried about his beach town. And it teaches people to stay out of the ocean. I really like that message of this movie. After the second shark attack, we meet Quint played by Robert Shaw, who volunteers to kill the shark, and Mayor Vaughn doesn't approve of it, and closes the beach, and Chief Brody son gets suddenly worried for his children's safety. And Spielberg does a great job to make at making this too real and making us the audience afraid of the char for the characters. Matt Hooper, played by Richard Dreyfus, is introduced to Chief Brody while some ignorant people go on boats and who are careless enough to go to the ocean and kill the shark on their own. It brings a shark home, but it wasn't the shark, it was a shark. And I like that fake out. This movie is very suspenseful back then to this day, in my opinion. So the beach is open for business after the fake out and Brody and Hooper find a tooth of a great white shark and while it's open there's a shark moving from the beach to the pond and eats a man and saves one of Brody's sons Michael and that really sets off an intense adventure and it was a spectacular shark attack scene so Brody and Hooper hire Quint to go after the great white shark who's again the exciting and the exciting adventure begins of capturing that shark on a small boat. I really like these characters together. They're really, really well done. And, and they work pretty great together, in my opinion, because they just... They're acting pretty great together... So we see the great white shark who's giant, and it's 25 feet long. Now, to be honest with you guys, that is one giant-ass shark. And that, and they must have built a giant robotic shark to put in the water 
So I really admire their bravery of going off against the shark. So they try to capture the shark and moves the boat and get the shark to chase them and overuse the engine to the point where the boat gets smoky, which kind of made me nervous because how are they going to get out of there? They use Hooper as bait and the shark does get a bite out of him and they're led to believe he's dead and Quint gets killed by the shark and the shark attacks Brody and the shark eats an air vent for breathing underwater and Brody shoots the shark and blows up the bastard and we see Hooper is still alive and they get to land and I love that as an ending. It was just magnificent. Now it's time for the rating. I'll give this movie a 9.1 out of 10. This is one of Spielberg's masterpieces with the score and how it real it looks and the acting in this movie is incredible and all three of them actors are on the boat acted very well together and it's a total total classic. So I'll be back next week with Jaws 2 and thank you guys for joining me and until next time. Da -da. Da -da.